the Volvo S60 is built on a common platform with the older S80 and V70. The design of the 60s is made in the corporate style of the brand, which was initiated by the S80. Moreover, these two cars are so similar that it is difficult for an inexperienced motorist to determine at a glance which model is in front of him. Thus, marketers tried to raise the prestige of a smaller model, which they quite succeeded in. In 2005, the 60 survived restyling, having received new optics and bumpers, and the plastic body kit began to be painted in body color. Our hero was represented by one modification with the four-door body, marked with the letter S, sedan. The main advantage declared by the manufacturer of all Volvos is safety. S60 is no exception. Salon 60s causes ambivalent feelings. At first glance, it creates a favorable impression. Massive and solid details emphasize the prestige of the model, and a straight, elongated dashboard, spaciousness inside. The status of the car is reinforced by good equipment. Many versions are richly equipped. The simplest ones will not disappoint either. They have air conditioning, power windows and mirrors, central locking, immobilizer, power steering and ABS. More often on the market there are more expensive versions with leather trim, xenon optics, climate and cruise control, illuminated floor niches and other options. But there are also comments, over time, the center console and the glove box lid begin to creak, the front armrest with the plastic lining of the tunnel loosens, but the soundproofing is top notch. All engines of the 60 are five cylinder and not only diesel, but also some gasoline units are equipped with turbocharging. For civilian versions, turbines with low working pressure are intended, and four charged ones with high ones. Thanks to this, for example, from a 2.4-liter engine, the creators remove 200 and 260 horsepower, respectively. With, in general, all petrol are high power and provide decent dynamics S60. So, even a 2.4-liter naturally aspirated engine, 170 horsepower, with a manual gearbox accelerates a one-and-a-half-ton car to hundreds in 8.7 seconds. Motorists noted that the most successful are the petrol turbocharged versions. In them, however, over time, oil can leak from under the seal of the return lubrication tube. There are also common problems inherent in all petrols, the airflow meter fails, problems with electronic throttle valves are noted oil seal of the valve timing adjustment mechanism of the VVT system loses its tightness, the fuel pump does not differ in particular durability, it may become unusable after 80,000 km. KM. In diesel engines, rockers with hydraulic compensators wore out, which increased the noise during engine operation, after 100,000 km. The timing of all engines is driven by a belt, which changes along with the rollers every 120,000 km. In all engines, the radiator of the cooling system may lose its tightness. Atmospheric gasolines are characterized by increased oil consumption. On older cars, consumption can be 250 to 600 G per 1,000 km. Weaknesses of the car With age, the center console and the glove box lid begin to creak, the front armrest with the plastic lining of the tunnel loosens. Many consumables suspensions change separately. The exception is the bushings that come with the stabilizers. Before the modernization of 2005, the front optics cap was sandblasted over time, which worsened the quality of lighting. During production, the S60 was equipped with exterior mirrors of various sizes. Small ones limit visibility somewhat. Most of the 60s, operated in Ukraine, have a drive to the front axle. All-wheel drive versions of AWD with an electronically controlled Haldex clutch are rare. Under normal conditions, about 90% of the torque is transmitted to the front wheels and 10% to the rear, and when the front wheels slip, up to 50% of the torque can be transmitted to the rear wheels. After 100 to 120,000 kilometers, as a rule, it becomes necessary to lubricate the front CB joint of the car and shaft. The Vrizdatka can also present an unpleasant surprise to lose tightness at the junction of the case. The oil seal of the right axle shaft in the Vrizdatka also leaks. The five-speed manual gearbox proved to be more reliable during operation. The only age problem is that after five to seven years the hinges of the gearshift mechanism become unusable, which is manifested by increased play of the gearshift lever and fuzzy gear shifting. On pre-styling versions, the dual-mass flywheel did not differ in durability, resource, 80 to 100,000 kilometers, later more reliable units began to be used. 
it is better to refrain from buying a version with automatic transmission. This Japanese AW55-50 unit can create serious problems. Weak point, short-lived valve blocks. During the production process, the models were constantly upgraded, and a certain level of reliability was achieved only after 2008, the blocks began to serve 150 to 200,000 kilometers. Their malfunction is manifested in shock gear shifting. The 2001 Euro NCAP crash test gave the S64 out of 5 stars. However, the majority of competitors have the same ratings. The kinematics of the S60 suspension is such that the 60 is distinguished by a slight inversion of the steering wheel. Both S60 suspensions are independent. Front, McPherson, and rear, multi-link. On the first versions, the front suspension was short-lived. Racks of the front and rear stabilizers serve 20 to 40,000 kilometers, front hydraulic silent blocks of aluminum front levers, 40 to 60,000 kilometers, ball bearings, 50 to 70,000 kilometers. In 2004, the stabilizer struts were upgraded. Since 2008, the front silent blocks of already forged levers began to serve more than 100,000 kilometers, and the ball ones, about 150,000 kilometers. The rear silent blocks of the front levers go about 80,000 kilometers, and the rubber bearings of the front struts, 60 to 80,000 kilometers. But the rear multi-link turned out to be very durable. Most of the consumables can last up to 200,000 kilometers, least of all, about 100,000 kilometers. Only the upper silent blocks of the rear fists are nursed. Claims to the steering. The reactive force on the steering wheel is small, and in turns it becomes empty. In addition, SMI steering until 2003 onwards was not reliable. After 60,000 kilometers, a knock appeared in the rail caused by wear. The steering shaft oil seal leaked, the tips served about 30,000 kilometers, and the pressure reducing valve failed in the power steering pump. Since 2004, ZF rails have been installed, and the problems have disappeared. Tips began to serve up to 80,000 kilometers, and thrust, more than 100,000 kilometers. There are no comments on the brake system, as well as on the drum mechanism of the handbrake. The Volvo S60 is a car with good passive safety. It stands out from a number of familiar premium models. For those who are interested in the used 60s, we advise you to pay attention to more fresh versions in which many weaknesses were eliminated, which significantly increased the reliability of the car. It is also important to know that the status of the model determines the high cost of spare parts and maintenance, so we do not recommend buying the S60 with the last money.